Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use some of the built-in template directives uh, ngif, ngswitch, and ng4. Alright, so what I have here is just a default quick start application. If you need to, to get the quick start, you can get it from this GitHub page. You can download it or you can clone it. We cloned it in the second part of this series, so if you need to go back, you can do that. All right, so we're going to just work in the, the root app component that is uh, included by default. And what we're going to do here is down in the class, let's create a constructor. All right, and let's create a property. We'll say private, and we'll call this show heading. Oh, not that, what am I doing? All right, so show heading, and then here we'll say this dot show heading set that to true all right and then up here in our template in the h1 we're going to use ng if now the syntax is a little different from angular one what you're going to want to do is use the asterisk and then say ng if and then set it to in this case show heading all right so if we save that and we take a look you can see that it's showing the heading if I go down and I change this to false and save, now it's not, okay? So it's it's testing to see if show heading is true or false, which we're setting right here. All right, very, very easy. So next thing I wanna show you is the switch statement. I'm just gonna set that back to true. All right, so for the switch, what I'm gonna do is let's create a property and we'll call it name and then in here we'll say this dot name equals John Doe alright now up here in the template what I'm gonna do is use back ticks here so that we can use multiple lines alright and then let's see we're gonna put a span and we want to use our ng switch. Now the ng switch is actually going to go in brackets. All right, and then we're going to set that equal to name. Now inside of here, we're going to use more span tags. And this time we're going to use an asterisk and say ng switch when. And then let's set that. We're going to put single quotes inside the double quotes here because we're using a string. And let's say uh, John Doe. All right. And then inside the span, we're going to say John Doe. Actually, let's just use first names. Say John there and there. And then down here, we'll just say John. All right, and then I'm going to copy this. Okay, this one here we'll set to Sam. And this one we'll set to Jeff. All right, so let's save that and run it. And you can see that we're getting John because what it's doing is it's checking name all right and it's saying when name equals john then do this spit out john all right so if i go down here and i change this to sam and save now we get sam now what if we change to something that uh, isn't even there so let's say mike all right so it's not showing mike because that's not one of our cases so what we would usually do is use a default all right, so let's paste that in and then change this to switch default. And we can just get rid of this totally. And here, let's just say not here. Okay, we'll keep this set as Mike. And now you can see we're getting not here because it's, it's default. It's not John, Sam, or Jeff. All right, so that's ng switch. The final one that I want to show you is ng4. And this is to... Uh, to, to create a loop. So what we'll do is create an array up here. Let's say private colors 
and in here we'll say this dot colors equals red blue and green okay so we have these colors and we want to output each one of these so let's go up here and I'm going to put in a line break a couple of them and we're going to create an IUL and then we want to take the element that we want to repeat so this is going to be an LI that we want to repeat and then we're going to say asterisk ng4 and set that we're going to use the number sign and color of colors all right and then in here we can say color okay so you can put whatever you use here you can use here and then this colors is coming from the property colors so let's save that and now if we look you can see that it's looping through the colors and outputting them on the screen all right so those are some of the template directives that you can use in the next video we're going to take a look at pipes